All right, hey guys, it's Jason here from the Children's Museum of Houston, the A STEAM program manager. Today, we're gonna talk about boomerangs, which is part of our aerodynamics section or unit, if you will, of our A STEAM program. Remember guys, aerodynamics is not how things fly, it's how we look at how airflow moves and interacts with other things. And today, we're gonna build a boomerang, which is a pretty cool thing. Now, a boomerang works because its initial design is basically an airfoil. An airfoil works because of Bernoulli's principle. When there is an increase in the airspeed, there is a decrease in the pressure on the airfoil, which creates a lifting force, which is one of the four principles of flight. So because the boomerang is essentially a wing, it actually acts with Bernoulli's principle and is able to fly. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering why it comes back to you. The reason why it comes back to you is because of something called gyros gyroscopic precession. When you throw the boomerang, it starts to move at a curved angle. It creates torque. Torque is something's an ability for something to twist. So when you throw the boomerang, the gyroscopic precession and the twisting of the torque allows the boomerang to return to the thrower. Now, boomerangs have been used for thousands of years. They were primarily used in Australia by the Aborigine people. And we use, they probably use them for a lot of different reasons, just like any tool. They might have used them to knock fruit off of a tree. They might have used them as a hunting tool. They might have used them as a toy for something the kids to play with. But regardless, they've been around for a long, long time, and it's tools like these that helped us understand how we can actually start to fly, to actually understand how we can start to make wings and get us into the air and move around the world. Now, you're gonna make a boomerang out of a template, but we gave you enough materials that you can make a boomerang of your own design afterwards to see which one flies better. So let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna be using today to make your boomerang, and then let me show you why you're gonna be able to make more, okay? So first, you're gonna need our boomerang template. This is the basic template we use for our boomerang. You're gonna need a piece of chipboard. Now, if you notice, the boomerang template fits on a very small piece of the chipboard. So the rest of the chipboard can be used to make your own boomerang template however you'd like. We're also gonna give you a pencil so you can trace the boomerang template, scissors so you can cut out the boomerang template, and marker so you can decorate your boomerang. Because like most tools that ancient people use, they like to make them, make them decorative, okay? Give them some meaning. Now, I already cut out a boomerang for you so you guys can see what it looks like. The hard part of the boomerang is how you throw it. The way you're gonna throw it will determine whether or not it'll come back to you. So you're gonna have to practice a lot. But what you wanna do is you wanna hold it by one of its edges and then you want to basically use your wrist, not your arm. You're not going to throw like a baseball. You want to use your wrist and give it like sort of a twist motion and hopefully it'll come back to you. Mine went out of the frame of the picture because it kind of spun downwards, but it definitely came back to me. As you can see, I just picked it up, okay? So you'll have to practice a little bit to get that motion to get it going up higher or whatnot, but see how it works. I got a plastic one here. Let me see how that one works. Oh, I just threw it on the ground. Let's see if I can do it right. Now, see, that plastic one's not working for me. So you see, you're gonna have to practice. Even me, you know, I do this all the time. You've gotta practice. So remember, it's your wrist that you want it to come to, okay? And hopefully it'll come back to you. Practice, practice, practice. Don't get discouraged, okay? That's what causes most scientists to give up, is discouragement. Just keep going. After you notice how it flies to you back and forth, maybe then you can design one that works better for you and you can practice with that one, okay? So really, that's all for boomerangs, okay? It's a very simple project, but you wanna practice a lot on how to get it to fly for you.